What is up you sexy YouTube mother lovers? If you recall, we did a cursed gun images video recently where we said if we got 50,000 likes, we would do what we call the AK-50 light, which is a 50 caliber AK. Not like what you're thinking of, but in 50 Beowulf. Anyway, we smashed that goal in like three hours-ish. <laughs> I should have asked for 100,000 likes. I guess the reason this is even a conversation is because so many people have been asking, you know, why is it taking so long to do the AK-50? Because they don't understand how big 50 BMG is. They're, they're, they even ask questions like, why don't you just do it in 50 Beowulf? Oh, wouldn't that be easier? Yeah, it would be, That that's not the point. But as you saw with the Clash of Bren, I'm a man of my word. I said we're gonna do it, so here it is. And all of its uh, glory. So this right here, other than being ugly as fuck, uh, is a 50 Beowulf. AK built off of an RPK parts kit. So this is specifically a Romanian RPK. You can see by the uh, bulged front trunnion here, this is an RPK receiver, RPK front trunnion. Obviously the RPK club foot stock. And we actually didn't have enough space with the uh, 50 Beowulf barrel that we turned down for this uh, to be able to have a front sight block. So we just have a rear sight block, which is why we're running a primary arms advanced micro dot on top on an RS regular mount. So. Uh, we'll probably be able to hit stuff with this at very close range. But you guys want an AK and 50 Beowulf, so there you have it. Let's go shoot some stuff. And all of your weak friends think that 762 recoil is bad. So before we do a deep dive on what the fuck this thing is and why it's possible, first, a word from our sponsor. This sponsor, of course, is No Name Armory. So what the fuck is No Name Armory? Well, it's about as close as you can get to making your gun and ammo purchases in a dirty back alley, except you get to use your credit card this time instead of the usual of uh, sucking ammunition through a hose in the dark. But No Name Armory sells all the fun stuff that your mom wouldn't let you play with as a kid. You know, like explosives. And not just any explosives, they sell fruit nukes, which are the cheapest binaries on the market right now. They also have ammo, gun parts, and they're trying to grow their catalog as fast as they can. Sign up and become a member with them and get 5% off your orders. Plus, they'll let you know when they get ammo back in stock before anybody else. Now, back to the video. All right, so first let's do a little bit of a history lesson on the 50 Beowulf itself. The 50 Beowulf is a purpose-made cartridge that was basically built around the parameters of being something that was capable of bursting engine blocks at a checkpoint while also being able to feed out of standard 5.56 AR-15 magazines and fitting in a standard AR-15 magwell. Basically the thought is you just swap your upper to something in 50 Beowulf, swap your magazine, and you're ready to pop cars. Was it ever any good at that? Well, we don't use it anymore. But because it has 50 in the name, uh, the internet and mostly FUDs and people who don't know much have continued to worship this caliber as the be all end all of high recoil with low results. So naturally, we built an AK in it. Like I said before, this is an RPK, a Romanian RPK parts kit that we purpose built for the 50 Beowulf. And the reason why we did that is because of that bulged front trunnion here uh, that allows us to get a little bit thicker of a chamber uh, uh, press fit journal on the AK with a 50 caliber cartridge. If you look here at the end of the barrel, you can see exactly how wide this has to be to accommodate a half inch projectile. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty stout, especially compared to the typical 222 caliber of the 545 or the 30 caliber of the 762 by 39 so an RPK was a natural choice. We got a bigger front trunnion here. We've got a bigger rear sight block uh, press fit area here. And to be able to feed gas in, we need a bigger diameter on our gas block. Normally on the RPK, it's just bigger because you have a thicker, heavier barrel meant for a lot of fully automatic fire. <laughs> on the 50 light, you've got a smaller volume of fire only a couple of times, but just a beefier round. 
The thing you'll also notice is that the gas port location on this, uh, which determines where the gas block sits, is much farther back than it would be on a standard AK where you'd have a, you know, a decent gas tube length where you'd actually have a gas tube instead of just your gas block sitting in your rear sight block like we currently have. The way we accommodate for that, super short bolt carrier there, a uh, little nub of a piston. It's, uh, this, this is a hunk of shit. Now for the barrel, uh, I think this is actually Ryan's idea. Uh, we use just a standard uh, AR-15 50 Beowulf barrel that we found on sale. Uh, cut off the barrel extension and just turned it down to whatever dimensions we needed. With quite a bit of protest, Zach turned up this barrel for us and uh, well, the rest is internet history. For the magazine, we used a 5.56 Galil mag. It seemed like a perfectly good choice considering we were using an RPK receiver, which is basically just an AKM mag well. So the Galil fits that perfectly while still having the right contour to feed 5.56, which means it almost kind of feeds 50 Beowulf properly. It doesn't like to feed more than like seven rounds in a magazine. That's probably due to the fact that we're using hollow points. I feel like it would feed a little bit better if we weren't, but this is what we got, man. We were never planning on building these for production because honestly, I hate it. I hate the idea. I hate the caliber. I hate the people who ask for it. But I would illustrate exactly how bad of an idea this is by spending a lot of time and resources making one for the internet. And now that I can feel my credibility kind of slipping away into the ether, I'm gonna borrow some of my friends. So Clean, would you like to uh, put a few rounds through this baby? Absolutely. Here you go. What are your thoughts? Uh, well, if I were to compile it to a literal par par uh, you know, piece of shit here, uh, it looks like the same thing, really. Uh, the flies really can't tell the difference either. I think as soon as you pulled up on the range with this, they uh, started swarming it. To, to the flies' credit, it's really kind of hard to tell the difference, I think. Yeah, no, it really is. Uh, and also, as uh, an expert in scav weaponry, who uses the worst type of equipment to kill the most geared chads and escape from Tarkov. I would rather have a Taz, to be completely honest with you. I really can't fight that too much. This, uh, at least the Taz, as it seems, will run consistently. Yeah, very much so. It's actually kind of funny you mentioned escape from Tarkov, because while we were uh, kind of just looking into how to make this possible, and halfway through we stopped and we're like, you know, we just accidentally unbullpup the Ash 12. Yeah. <laughs> Basically on accident. I think like this is Gluhar's like cousin's Ash 12. <laughs> now we came all the way out here on the range to do a video. As much as I don't really want to shoot this anymore, what would a range video be if we didn't do white claw testing? White claw penetration testing specifically. Now normally we just do one white claw, but since this is kind of a beefy boy, we're gonna be doing three today. So let's see how this does. Three, two, one. Can you say white boy summer? Oh. Now normally we'd go out and inspect the pieces of white claw cans left over um, just to see what kind of damage that we did. But right now on this particular one, I, I believe that those cans are with Dogecoin now, which which means they're on the moon. <laughs> oh man, well, anyways guys, hopefully this was a fun video for you. This is just kind of, you know, a little bit of screwing around that we do in the shop. It's a fun little meme gun. Please don't ask me to make you one. One, you can't afford it, so don't even lie to yourself. And two, this is an abomination and I really don't feel like making any more. Plus, I figure it's a nice little demonstration for you guys who didn't quite understand the difference between 50 BMG and 50 Beowulf. 50 BMG, totally have to make it pretty much everything from scratch, whereas 50 Beowulf, we used existing off-the-shelf AK parts, makes it a ton easier. But that's because Beowulf sucks, and BMG was made by Browning, so it is god tier, and I won't have anything else. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I appreciate you staying to the end of the video, as always, and be sure to subscribe. Let me tell you something, we, uh, we're gonna have a pretty big AK-50 video coming up soon, and in fact, we've got a plane to catch. So, 
I will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Thanks. Fear is my obsession to make the perfect weapon like us put his eyes to the top. But I can't let you can stop, just stop, just stop, just stop, just stop, just stop, just stop. So we just kind of nursed this gun into being able to function for an entire video. Uh, this is at no fault of my builders, but this just this is a terrible idea. And just why? But even the magazine doesn't want to feed toward the end anymore. Just even after loading this and trying a few times, it was always having trouble with the last round. But now the last round is literally just loose in the magazine, which uh, I don't if you guys know anything about weapons but it's just not not it's not a good thing as a meme 10 of 10 as a home defense gun i'd rather have a pocket